Hello everyone this is Gary from Fantastic Fantas and today in this lecture we are going to talk about the governor generals now we have already talked about the governor generals as separate lectures earlier also and we will continue that trend though some of these governor generals some of these acts we have already done and in fact almost all the acts you would be already aware but it is also important from uh, the point of view of the analysis and of course for the purpose of the examination that we understand under which governor general what kind of work was done now we have already done uh, governor generals up to hard inch two and you can see this over here and this has been hyperlinked if you have your annotations on if you click here it will take you to that lecture now from this lecture onwards we will move to the further governor general the first governor general uh, which i am going to discuss over here his name is lord james ford c h e l m s f o r d do not commit this mistake of writing wrong spelling because a lot of people either pronounce it wrong or make um, write the wrong spelling anyways the so lord james ford now he was there from 1916 to 1921 that's number one i'm going to talk about and after james ford there will come lord reading and he will be here from 1921 to 1926 and then will come irwin you already are aware of it because i have already taught you about these people it is just a compilation of the whole thing and after irwin i will be talking to you about lord uh, willingdon willing done and he was there from 1931 to 1936 right now yeah there will be uh, one more governor general uh, after which which comes after willing then we have done partial part of the history uh, when he was the heading uh, the post and lord lil let go but he will be covered in the next lecture on the governor generals so let's begin with the lord james ford now now please do remember one thing that whatever part of history i teach you here uh, regarding governor general we have already covered it so i will not be going into details of uh, who did what uh, but i will just make a quick reference and if there is something which i have not discussed that i will be doing uh, here only lord james ford came at a very crucial time for india because this uh, literally marks the period when our freedom movement got f very massive on its scale and how do we know this we know because at this time came important things like home rule leagues uh, came at this time any basant and tilak you remember that right now then after that in 1917 if you remember there was calcutta session where any basant uh, got her first paper common wheel also was brought by her so this this is just compilation of some running facts and i have already have done the detailed analysis and the linkages uh, of this era and uh, in fact um, there in in 1916 ambika charan mazumdar uh, was the head and there was this lucknow pact which was done do you know who was the who was called as one of the chief architects of lucknow pact we did that in lecture on communalism and its uh, lord jinha is there and at this time only when lord james ford was there what are the other happenings you can recall uh, champaran we know and then kheda satyagrah was there and uh, you know uh, gandhi got title of uh, mahatma during this era uh, by uh, gurudev rabindranath tagore uh, right and uh, sabarmati ashram was opened by gandhi sabarmati ashram in 1916 with the help of his uh, uh, ambalal sarabhai and uh, montagu august 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 declaration came during the time of uh, james ford in fact those are called as montagu james ford reforms and uh, which declared that the ultimate aim of the congress was the uh, i'll just put it here montagu uh montagu uh, reforms 
who, who declared that their ultimate aim was the progressive realization of the self-government and later on of course they deny that but here they do say that you can remember this particular point actually progressive realization of self-government in india and uh, then from montagu we also know that at this time came the montagu chemsford reforms uh, which brought the uh, separate electorate and also diarchy in the uh, provinces and what else we can study here yes uh, at this time sn banerji surendranath banerji who was he he was a moderate and uh, surendranath banerji he brought this i'll just clear the screen now sn banerji he brought his india indian liberation federation indian liberation federation was brought by him not discussing the details we have done already so many things about these people and we know this thing at this time also came this uh, rowlet act and we have done rowlet satyagraha and then this worst thing jallianwala bag massacre uh, was committed by general dyer uh, um, and um, you know book uh, there was a book written on him general dyer india as i knew uh, and uh, then udham singh of course killed general dyer we all know that in london in 1940 that happened much later but you, you see the revenge was taken over here by udham singh and uh, he, and very important thing that happened at the time of chensford was the beginning of the world war 1 ultimately leading to the non cooperation movement and the khilafat satyagraha and in this background also because the world war is happening so it's it will be easier for you to remember that there are deaths and when deaths happen one important person of indian freedom struggle died that is tilak in 1920 and uh, tilak um, now then sinha is another important person over here sp sinha uh, you can it's not Sh uh, uh, shatrugan sinha the actor sp sinha is the is the he was the governor of bihar and why is this information important because he was the first indian to be governor of any province that is why this is important and the era of james ford is particularly known for the purpose of education why number 1 there was uh, for aligarh muslim university coming up in 1920 and then one very important thing and was done by uh, maharishi karve maharishi uh, karve uh, he he also got bharat ratna at the age of 100 and probably it was 1958 only and for his contribution to the education and the emancipation of the women in india and there was a college open up s n d t it's in pune called shrimati nati bhai damodar thakur se university is a university at pune and it was the first women university of india so this is particularly important for us and moreover he was a bharat ratna so you, we just cannot miss this information here and then one last uh, let's let me give you just two more facts about this place and that was one as the mopalla rebellion you can always relate as many facts as you can to a period i'm just giving you few important ones and mopalla rebellion was there and yeah there was one sadler commission also which came up here we have discussed the sadler commission in detail it came up in 1917 so uh, this is pretty much about the chemsford uh, era when he was uh, he heading the country on behalf of the government of uh, britain and then after uh, james ford came lord uh, reading and lord reading was here in india from uh, the he head as a head from 1921 to 1926 uh, i just write it clearly now just keep on moving according to the events what will happen we know this the most important event that happened at this happens at this time is the chori chora incident uh, it happened on uh, 5th february yes it was 5th february uh, 5th february 1922 and where is chori chora this is in the gorakhpur district gorakhpur district you can always locate it on the map easily 
and of course after chori chora we also withdrew from the ncm at the, uh, it's on the same day that ncm was withdrawn and uh, an interesting event for all the civil service aspirants is that Indianization of the civil services was happened uh, happened during the time of Lord Reading Indianization and uh, simultaneous exams were held in India as well as England Indianization of civil services and Tagore played a very active role here and uh, because in 1922 he came up with the Shanti Niketan which is also known as the Vishwa Bharti University and Swarajist party was formed we know this fact also Swarajist party you see don't be overwhelmed by the facts over here we have already discussed this if you are getting overwhelmed that clearly means you need to listen to the earlier lectures again so Swaraj's university was uh, Swaraj's party was formed and I hope you do remember the people involved it was CR Das as the president and Nehru as the secretary and it was in 1922 and then Sarojini Naidu this question has been asked in your paper Sarojini Naidu Sarojini Naidu became the president of the congress during the time of um, at that time reading was the uh, governor general and uh, he she was the head of the congress in 1925 uh, yes it was 25 session uh, and this where was this session kanpur this session was in kanpur right and uh, indianization of armies happening you see you can always remember such things uh, it's like with due respect to sarojini i do uh, i mean you can Khan, you can somebody slapping somebody on the ears or you can just create a picture of the sarojini naidu president 1925 Khan procession or you can imagine the picture of sarojini naidu slapping someone like just to remember i right, with due respect to the lady and indianization of army had started um, um indianization of army indianization of army is first of is of civil services and also of the army it did happen over here now not just this yes one important fact because we know this that this was the time when revolutionary activity was quite high so uh, kakori uh, train robbery also happened during the time of lord uh, reading only and then rss was formed it's an in, in important fact for you to remember uh, rss was formed here rss was formed under uh and this was in 1925 at nagpur 1925 at nagpur and 1926 akali dal was formed there's uh interesting history to history to that also and we also know that at this time army because uh, indianization of army was done this indianization of army there was a committee formed actually for bringing the army reforms and this committee was called as sand Hurst. sand you can imagine the army sitting in sand or you can recall that scene of Sunil Shetty from bottom movie we're sitting on the sand so you know Sandhurst movie is there uh, and uh, it, this is also known as skiing committee you don't get you don't get confused about the skin -E s-k-e-n and lot of committees were formed reading you can remember for his committees also uh, for example uh, one of the committees that was formed here uh, it was regarding uh, currency reforms in india and it is known as the uh, hilton young committee hilton young committee was formed on the currency reforms and uh, if army had this committee by sanders even civil services will have this committee and it was known as a lee commission okay lee commission and um, yeah th that's pretty much about reading and then after this we can move to lord irwin lord irwin was there from 1926 to 1931 very important for the purpose of modern history lot of questions are asked on on him and i have lot of details uh, regarding lord irwin for you here and he probably was a number 30 i believe in the list of viceroy or the governor generals that came to india now his real name was lord halifax nobody is going to ask you this question but you you never know uh, what might happen so just remember that and he was also known as a uh, christian viceroy christian viceroy 
the most important fact that you can recall from 1926 to 31 now this a lot has happened in this era and it all started with simon commission simon commission we have referred to this simon commission so many times and it was an all white commission uh, there were no indians in it and congress of course boycotted this and uh, Lala Lajpat Rai's book, Lala Lajpat Rai's book, uh, which was called Unhappy India. This book came out at this time only, Unhappy India. And Lala Lajpat Rai uh, succumbed to the injuries, uh, you know, which happened at this time while boycotting the Simon Commission. And uh, Saunders' assassination was done uh, during this time by the revolutionaries only and 1927 session 28 session of the congress please do recall these sessions these are very important sessions just like you know we just uh, recently did uh, the uh, in, in the last few lectures uh, the uh, or probably in the coming lecture we will be doing if if i haven't done it so far regarding the uh, regarding haripura and tripuri and ramgarh sessions of congress right i hope you do remember them because you otherwise you need to listen to the lectures again 1938 39 40 all these are very important years for the purpose of understanding and writing answers for the modern history of india so coming back to this 1927 this was in madras this was madras session and m a ansari m for madras m for m a ansari he was the head of this session and it was at this time that complete independence was the goal the snap it was a snap resolution right it wasn't properly voted nehru the young nehru jawaharlal nehru came and asked who are the people who want complete independence and you know it seemed that almost everyone raised the hand the majority at least and thus it was called as the complete independence and but in any case 1927 is also important because at that time britishers started realizing that indians are fighting and since indians are fighting we need to consolidate our empire and to do that we need to have control over the princely states and to have this control a commission was brought here which was called as the uh, butler commission please do remember these commissions they are important for your exam i there is not much way to remember them you just have to understand the context and think over it okay so you know you can remember this butler what is the role of a butler to make food or to cut the food and they were trying to cut india into pieces by keeping intact the princely states of india you can just remember it this way if you cannot do it the other any other way that's how i do at least and then in nine december 1928 you if you remember uh, i'll just clear the page december 1920 1928 Moti Lal Nehru he gave two years ultimatum but under pressure of younger nationalists and Gandhi's in insistence this period of uh, uh, because that we uh, that we have with great difficulty reached on home, home rule league let's fight it for one year so this period was of giving Britishers ultimatum was reduced to uh, one year and we also know that uh, Birkenhead had given India a challenge at this time that Indians are not fit to rule. And this was answered by Nehru, which ultimately came to be known as the Nehru Report. And he, within six months, he actually made the whole of the constitution of India. And then of, um, we know Jinnah is turning communal and Jinnah comes with his 14 points. And then there is a Delhi proposal. I'm not going to cover it here. You will need to uh, see the earlier lectures. We I'm just quoting the things uh, in chronological order during the time of Lord Irwin. Uh, so that if there is a question that who was the governor general at this time, you can answer that question. And I'm just quoting the few important events of this time, right? And we also know that Bhagat Singh and Rajguru and Sukhdev Thapar, all these people threw bomb, which was not harmful, and the Central Legislative Assembly to make the deaf people hear. That's what Bhagat Singh had to say about that. And then, yeah, one important revolutionary died at this time. It was Jatinda or Jatindas, and after 64 days of hunger strike, he died and um, you must have seen all this, this particular scene in so many movies already and 
now in all this activity congress uh, you know and the revolutionaries and everyone else and the communist and the leftist every nehru all of them they force the britishers to come to table and they do agree for this uh, they they become up with the idea of the first round table conferences but um, this round table conference uh, is uh, to discuss the dominion status of india but then no time frame because no time frame is given that when will we uh, be you know doing this rtc was not announced so in 1929 the lahore uh, in the lahore session congress says fine because you have not acted uh, i mean the britishers have not acted as per the demands so we are now going to have Purn Swaraj resolution and the first independence day was celebrated of india on 26th of january 1900 30 and that is why because of the this importance this particular date is was also kept by india to be uh, the republic day of india this is such an important date for the indian independence history and uh, this uh, and then after this gandhi comes up with the idea of uh, dandi march and that started on 12th of march to 5th of may that continued we discussed in very huge detail uh, this whole of the dandi march and it went up to 5th of may 1930 that is you know this right 240 miles and 78 candidates that's how it went on uh, 78 candidates okay now then there is also Darsh darshana uh, satyagraha if you have seen the movie uh, 1982 production that called Gandhi, it's a brilliant movie. You must go through that movie. Though not every fact over there uh, is exactly as it happened. There is some, uh, but almost 90, let's say 97, 98 percent of the movie is true to the fact. And, and the, for example, the the name of the reporter is wrongly mentioned in the movies. The real name was uh, Webb Miller. So that, that's not, this reporter actually uh, pu published the international reports on how British were committing atrocities on the peaceful protesters during the Dhasna salt walks, uh, uh, salt attacks. And then after this, so first RTC is already boycotted and in 1931 Bhagat Singh is executed on 23rd of March 1931 and you know, then during this uh, time only uh, few 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 things start for uh, i've already shared with you lala ji dies and uh, then yeah then important event that happened during this time so this was about the political events regarding the social events that's how i recall things actually uh, regarding the social events that happened uh, one sarda act came at this time sarda act of 1929 and which reduce you know marriageable age was uh, made 17 and 19 this was for the uh, boys and this was for the uh, girls uh, the age to marry and then on the diwali of 1931 it was announced by the britishers that uh, they will give us dominion status in the due course what is that due course when will that be given it was not announced by them so basically it was nothing just uh, uh, you know fake bomb of Diwa diwali but they just wanted to make people happy so they just said it the pavli uh, declaration as it is known at that time so uh, this is pretty much about lord irwin um, if you can think of any other fact you can always add in the comment section for the benefit of all and please do mention the time whenever uh, you write anything in the comment section when you are communicating to me only then i can help you all right now we are left with just one governor general and that is lord willingdon willing done this guy he was there from 1931 to 36 normally questions are not asked on him because there wasn't uh, something of the greatest sort happening here but few important events did happen we define the course of history and the questions have been asked on those events but ne you never know what might be asked the second rtc was held and which is of great importance to us and gandhi ji attended this conference and this conference did fail and then we know that cdm was also relaunched uh, after uh, you know uh, it, in may 1934 it was suspended finally you know this thing may 1934 may it was suspended and third rtc was held in uh, november 1932 third rtc in november 32 and it of course we didn't participate in this and then we also know about the pakistan resolution park resolution 
proposed by Chaudhary Rahmat Ali Khan, uh, and was uh, and uh, of course Jinnah wasn't in support of this at this time. He was secular, and uh, Pune Pact is important over here. You know the uh, importance of it, uh, that the role it, how it related to the backward classes, and Ramsey Macdonald was the person who was the prime minister here, and then. Pune Pact, you know, it's also known as the Gandhi Ambedkar Pact, right? Reservations were given to the depressed classes, the communal award, and all those issues were there. We've already done this now. Please don't don't ask me question regarding this here in this lecture. You can do that in the concerned lecture. Now, Gandhi was released from the uh, Yerawada jail, and of course, he was there on fast until death. Now, this was the question asked in UPSC that uh, he, Gandhi went on fast until death. Uh, regarding which of the following event it was when they came up with this communal awards and Gandhi was sent to this uh, Yerawada jail and uh, this was the question asked that you know the, regarding the which event did it happen so such things also come up and 1934 you know this thing that Congress Socialist Party it came out of the Congress and um, Congress Socialist Party if you remember I told you about the jam Trinity uh, Congress Socialist Party was formed by the jam right Jaiprakash Narayan Acharya Narendra Dev and Minu Masani and Burma also separated from India in 1935 Burma which is creating at times few problems for India today could have been part of India uh, but then as the political happenings happened Burma separated from India in 1935 then last fact and that is Indian Military Academy it was formed in um, 1932 yes it was 1932 only so these are the some facts about the the governor journals uh, which uh, and we have covered all the history up to here this will help you answer a lot of questions in your exam right uh, we still have little more time so we can uh, cover up the next layer uh, next governor general also let's do that also the next governor general is Lin Lithgow and he was there from 1936 he came in the uh, in the beginning of year almost March April 1936 and he stayed there up to 1943 now he was the uh, f first what is technically uh, you know the, called as the crown representative and other than that he was the chairman of the joint parliamentary committee on the government of india act 1935 and then at this time one important event that happened was this haripura session of 1939 and then you have this uh, tripuri session just uh, all these detail uh, will be with you uh, and you know but Tavisi Taramaya was defeated by Subhash Chandra Bose in that lecture on Subhash Chandra Bose that I'll be doing you can uh, you will get all these details so don't worry about this uh, I've just done Lil Nith Go because we had little more time with us all the, all the story of the forward block and how it is formed and why it is formed and yes I, at the time of Lil Nith Go one important event you cannot miss is the of world war two it had started and the, uh, the outbreak of it and muslim league uh, how muslim league celebrated uh, deliverance day also that that is also important deliverance day of the muslim by the muslims is important individual satyagraha that will be covered in the upcoming lectures for vinova bhave does that and nehru is there and brahmdat is the third person to do individual satyagraha and those things like uh, this uh, august offer and and the Pakistan, uh, this uh, this Lahore resolution uh, is also done at this time only. Lahore resolution. You will have the details of all these in the coming lectures, so nothing to worry. And then Subhash Chandra Bose formed INA during the time of Lord Lenlethko only. INA and quit india movement did happen at this time this is important Qu who was the governor general of india when quit india movement happened now this question if comes in your exam this can be tough call for some people but if you even listen to this lecture once twice thrice this will be done thing lalit gao and quit india movement you, you should be able to link uh, link these two you know, things and uh, all those you know gowalia tank 
uh, where the quit india movement is launched we will discuss quit india movement in detail in the upcoming lectures do or die slogan and august revolution all these things and the karachi session of the muslim league is important over here where there was a call for divide and quit karachi session of the muslim league did happen under lalitko so th these are the few things uh, which were happening under the lalitko okay now please make sure that now you share the lecture with others you can share it on the social media and of course always that's even better thing to do share it with your friends and number two is do click on the like button if you like the video and to get all these videos in your email box you need to subscribe to us and that you can do by clicking here on this button so that is all and thank you so much for watching this video